Now, I want to show you how I do processing in Capture One. I know many of you have this software because right now in retouching industry, this is the leading software for raw processing. But I also know some of you prefer to use Camera Raw. In my personal opinion, if you would ask me what is better, I would say it depends on your needs. I know people, even for me, like the colors out of Capture One are richer. That's just how the Capture One process the images, but it doesn't mean that Capture One is so much better. For me, it's better, but it really depends on your needs because if you feel more comfortable working in Camera Raw, even if um, the image is a little bit dull at first, by playing with certain settings, you can achieve the results that you really want. So if you feel comfortable with Camera Raw, there is nothing wrong. For me, the Capture One is better. And how the Capture One see the color, let me let me show you at first. That was our image after processing. So right now, of course, it has more color than the image visible in Capture One, but it's not processed at all. So as you can see, when we start the image with Camera Raw, the image looked like this. It really seems to be desaturated, and that was the reason why I was going with Vibrance. And this is non-processed image in Capture One. You can see the difference is huge about the colors. And to me, Capture One just see the color a little bit better for certain needs. As I said, it all depends on your personal preference. I'm choosing for my retouching Capture One, especially that I do a lot of fashion retouching and beauty retouching. And I believe for fashion, really Capture One will be the top choice because there you have a lot of colors you can work you have to work with so that will be my choice if it's about the fashion so i'm going to close um, the photoshop just for a second uh, i don't need to save that right now and i'm going with uh, capture one so if you first time opening capture one the layout is a little bit different but for you it just when you have the images, you go with file and import the images and the images will be imported to your uh, catalog. So uh, that would be the basic step. All of the rest you will, you will learn in the process. So find the images on your computer. There's a like source and find the folder where are the images you want to apply. So I shared with you a few images you can work with. So feel free also uh, to work with Capture One because as I know, there is 30 days free trail. So if you've never been working with Capture One, this is the right time to try it. And maybe you will like it more uh, than Camera Raw if you stick with Camera Raw. So I'm going to start again with the outdoor images. And once again, let me explain how I work with. Once again, um, we don't have the basic panel as we had with uh, Camera Raw, but it's more like separate. As you can see, the white balance is more separate and I feel it's um, much more precise. Uh, you can see the white balance is different than uh, Camera Raw and that is mostly responsible for the uh, visible colors. You have the profile, so you can see the camera. It was shot. The other important panel will be, of course, um, setting up exposure and working with dynamic range, so knocking down highlights and shadows. And the other step where I'm going is always local adjustments when we can be a little bit more precise and working with color editor. This is just how I go. Uh, you can also work with color editor over here uh, in the color. I just like to go uh, that way. Once again, I just uh, got used to like this. And at the end, as an output, we need to save them, of course. So I don't want to keep this as a one lesson explaining you just the basics and then creating a separate lesson uh, for you just to 
understand how I process because that would be boring. So let's jump straight away into processing. The first step I take is highlights and shadows just in this panel exposure. So let's knock down some of the highlights and bring some of the shadows. Similar step as we took in camera. Uh, other steps could be you can of course work a little bit with more with brightness or exposure and I like this panel a little more here uh, when it's about the capture one is just feel more natural to me. Uh, saturation I don't need to saturate this more right now over here because it's for me it's enough saturated and the next step what I do I usually go to color editor and I don't really work with basic uh, option for color editor but I always go with advanced one. Why? Because it allows me to choose colors and work with colors selectively as I really want. So I can hit the background and see the color I have. I can hit the skin and see the color I have. And the one difference is uh, on this image, I don't have so many colors, so I barely will be working with color editor, which is much more powerful when it's about the fashion images. But let's see what we could do. If uh, you choose the color, as you can see, you can manipulate uh, in the hue with this color. So if you would have some blue tones, you can manipulate the hue that will be more uh, suitable for your image. Uh, we don't have that much to do on this image because we don't have that many colors, but we could work a little bit more with skin tone. And this is super powerful. And I hit on the skin and you don't have this option in camera. That's why I love this so much. Of course, you can find out what's the hue, but when you hit on the skin tone and even when you pick any color in uh, advanced uh, panel over here, you can see the hue of your color and to me that is super powerful and very helpful. Let's have a look. Uh, we can go with hue. I don't really like too much yellow tones so I would go with hue, take down just one step of the hue and maybe saturate the skin tone just a little bit more. You can also work with uniformity just to smooth out the hue of uh, your image, but I don't really think it's a good idea. As you can see, um, it's not something practical in retouching because when you uniform the color, you will lose all of the details that exist over here. And the same about saturation, you don't want to uniform because it just um, take down the differences in saturation of your image. For some images, that could work but I would not recommend you. So as you can see in Capture One, uh, there is not much work to do. And you remember we're working with split tones in uh, Camera Raw. And the very similar thing would be working with Color Balance. Uh, you have three ways of working with Color Balance. There is Shadows, Mid-Tones and Highlights, which is simply speaking like a, a split toning. And I'm going to work separately with shadows and highlights. So if you'd like to go with the opposite colors for shadow and highlights, let's see, I would like to get, get some blues into the shadows. And to me, it looks so much better than it was looking in camera. Uh, it looks more natural, more um, the deeper. As you can see, the color feel like really natural on this image. I wouldn't go here because I really think it should be blue on the background and I'm going to orange with highlights and as I didn't like the look that I received actually in a camera roll, I like the look that it delivers to me right now in a capture one. It's uh, just, it feels better to me to split tones, uh, to work with um, tones in a capture one. So. I would go with something like that. Let me play a little bit more. Um, I feel this tone, this blue one, work really great um, with her orange skin tone. And that also would uh, let us work a little bit more with the background color if we would like to, but um, 
there's no need actually so I will go back and that's the image I'm, I'm relatively happy to work in Photoshop so how you process that we're going to output and the one problem is we cannot open this in a smart object as we could do this from camera row but we can open this as a PSD file I open keep this as a T file so process receive just open also pay attention like process receipt you can get just automatic here TIFF 16-bit files uh, because all the raw images are of course 16-bit unprocessed a lot of information so format TIFF 16-bit uncompressed resolution 300 pixel per inch and everything looks right also to keep everything in order I keep the same image name so later I know on which image I was working from the raw and destination of course I need to find the right destination for me so I would go for color grading course this is where I keep the files Arial is the image set as an output folder and then process and next step will be work in Photoshop so you have these small differences between camera row and capture one choose the one software that suits you more